Welcome back, folks. Live look at our first alert radar network still showing a strong line of storms moving east to west across the region. This is actually bringing us a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings at the moment. This one is about to work its way into Jefferson County. So heads up Brins down to Louisville, Wadley, Bartow, Moxley. You're included in that quarter size hail, 60 mile per hour wind gusts, and it's going to stay in effect until 6 p.m. So we still have roughly about 18 minutes left on that warning, and you can see along with the wind and hail threat, still a lot of heavy rain and a lot of cloud to ground lightning. So just make sure you're staying inside away from windows. This storm is going to be moving into Burke County next. So heads up places like Keysville, Vidette, Waynesboro. If this storm continues to stay severe, you'll expect those winds to show up most likely a little bit after six o'clock. So for you in Waynesboro between six, six thirty, Vidette, you're going to see it most likely around six p.m. on the dot. We just got a new severe thunderstorm warning issued for portions of Hampton, Allendale, Screving County. This is just south of Sylvania and south of Allendale uh, proper. So getting closer to Fairfax. This one stays in effect until 645, so a little bit longer of a severe weather threat there down in the southern CSRA. And that's where the severe weather threat does look to stay the rest of tonight, mainly south of I-20 across uh, the southern reaches of the area. Rain chances with us the next several hours. Once we get past sunset, we'll lose that daytime heating. I would imagine by around midnight tonight, we're pretty rain free across most of the area. But the heat index, that was uh, absolutely on fire again this afternoon. We got heat index temperatures up to around 110 in a few spots. Here's the way it's shaped up for us here in Augusta. So early this morning by around 9 a.m. It was already feeling like 94 degrees. We had a gust front that pushed through just after 3 o'clock, and you can see that really dropped our feel like temperatures by about 15 uh, degrees. So once that gust front, once these storms kind of clear east of you, you should feel much better outside and start to drop that humidity a little bit. And this is all driven by cold front. So as this continues to just move towards the coastline overnight, take a look at this. By tomorrow afternoon, our heat index temperatures should stay below 100 for pretty much everywhere in the CSRA. Now you're going to get a little bit closer the further east you go. So the closer you get to that I-95 corridor, that's where that front's going to stay stalled out. So still pretty humid along the coastline, but the further west you get inland, you're going to experience much nicer feeling air. So up towards Wilkes County and the lake should be beautiful conditions up there over the next couple of days. Into Thursday, we're going to hang on to temperatures at least feeling less than 100. As we roll into Friday and the weekend, we do see those feel like temperatures jump back up. And temperatures will start to see a little bit more seasonable uh, later into our Friday, Saturday, and Sunday afternoons. But Wednesday, Thursday, those high temps at or just a little bit below average for us. So a little relief from the intense heat and humidity we've had so far this week. So that cold front will continue to push that more humid air closer towards the coastline. You can see it's not going to push all the way through, so we will see somewhat of some humid conditions and portion of the CS right tomorrow. But by Thursday, it does push a little bit further offshore with less atmospheric moisture. It feels better for us at the surface, but it also keeps our storm chances uh, pretty low. So we're not expecting much of a rain threat across a lot of the CS array over the next couple of days, unless you are closer towards that I-95 corridor. So we're going to keep those storm chances in play Wednesday, Thursday, just mainly going to be a threat for areas south and east of Augusta, so not a threat for everybody. Looking ahead to the weekend, that's when temperatures do start to look much more August-like, 95 Saturday, 94 Sunday, but storm chances look to be less than 20%. Not zero, but less than 20%, so I definitely want to cancel anything yet planned outside this weekend. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast. Along with some lower humidity, we should start to feel a little bit nicer the next couple of mornings. Could even see the upper 60s waking up early Friday. All right. Thanks, Riley. Gosh, that